with our busy lives, it often seems easier to buy the things we need rather than make them. But some of the things you regularly use or consume can be made from scratch relatively quickly and for a fraction of the cost of store-bought. Check out these 17 things money-saving experts recommend you should stop buying because you can make them on your own without a big time commitment for much less. Then, decide what to do with all that cash because these easy dies will save you tons of money. 1. Bread. If bread is a staple in your house, you can dramatically reduce the cost by making your own. My family likes to eat healthy, organic foods, and I was spending close to $5 per loaf at the grocery store on fancy, pre-made whole wheat bread with no high fructose corn syrup, said Liz Frugalwoods, who writes about frugal living at frugalwoods.com. Now, I make my own bread for pennies per loaf. Using a hand-me-down bread machine, she makes whole wheat bread using a King Arthur flour recipe. None of it goes to waste because it freezes well, she added. 2. Hummus and Dips Hummus is another one of the many foods that Mrs. Frugalwoods and her husband make from scratch rather than buy pre-made from the supermarket. We are hummus fiends especially our toddler who requests hummus at almost every meal and pre-made hummus is pricey, Mrs. Frugalwood said. It can cost about $4 for a 10-ounce container when not on sale. They combine garbanzo beans, olive oil, lemon zest, squeezed lemon and water in the food processor. A can of garbanzo beans costs about 70 cents and a lemon costs about 60 cents. If you use olive oil you have on hand, you'll only spend about $1.50 to make hummus. No need for expensive ingredients such as tahini, she said. This limoni hummus tastes wonderful for a fraction of the price. You can save money by making other simple dips. For example, you can pick up an inexpensive container of sour cream whatever is on sale and combine it with a powdered mix such as onion soup mix, said money-saving expert Andrea Warrock. You will get much more for your money, she said. 3. Salad Dressing Rather than buy bottles of salad dressing, which can cost $2.98 for Newman's own dressing at Walmart, you likely can make a vinaigrette for next to nothing with ingredients you already have on hand. You can combine olive oil, vinegar and spices to make your own dressing, Warak said. Search online to find a recipe using the ingredients you already have at home and you can make it for cheap, she said. Not only will it cost less, but it will oftentimes be a lot healthier. 4. Household Cleaners, on average, consumers spend $42 per month on household cleaning supplies, according to Statistic Brain. Rather than buy pricey household cleaners, Mrs. Frugalwoods makes her own cleaning solution of water and white vinegar. This solution works to clean everything from the toilet to the kitchen counter and, again, costs me pennies. She said, a 1.32 gallon jug of white vinegar costs me $4.49 and that single jug provides me with enough cleaning solution for at least a year, since I cut it in half with tap water. Making this dye household cleaner saves you money, and it's an environmentally friendly cleaning solution. With both a toddler and a septic system to consider, not having dangerous chemicals and fumes around is a priority for me, Mrs. Frugalwood said. 5. Laundry Detergent Sherry Lowe, creator of the blog Queen of Free, started creating her own dye laundry detergent because her family was having allergic reactions to store-bought detergents. It has saved her hundreds of dollars over the years, she said. To make your own detergent, mix one cup of borax, one cup of washing soda which each cost about 90 cents and one half cup of an oxygen cleaning product such as OxyClean for about 50 cents for a total of about $2.30. You only need one tablespoon of the mix per load of laundry. 6. Dishwasher Detergent If you make your own laundry detergent, you can use a lot of the same ingredients to also make dishwasher detergent. Low recommended combining one box of borax, one box of washing soda, three cups of Epsom salt and 24 packets of unsweetened lemonade mix in an airtight container. She uses just a teaspoon of the mix per load. It costs less than $10 to make enough dishwasher detergent, 144 ounces or so, to last a year, she said. By comparison, it costs $11.07 for 125 ounces of Cascade powder dishwasher detergent at Walmart. 7. 
Paper towels, even if you're waiting for paper towels to go on sale and using coupons, you're still paying more than you have to for this disposable product. You'll spend a lot less using washable dishcloths rather than paper towels that get tossed after one use, said Erin Chase, a frugal expert and founder of $5 Dinners. Chase said she hasn't used paper towels in nine years. Instead, she spends about $12 per year buying 8 packs of washable dishcloths instead of $11 per month on an 8 pack of paper towels. She estimated that she saves about $100 per year by opting for reusable dishcloths. 8. Paper Napkins Napkins are another paper product that penny pinchers never buy, Chase said. Rather than spend several dollars every month on a package of paper napkins that you'll toss after one use, you can buy cloth napkins at the dollar store and use them again and again. 9. Baked Goods If you have a sweet tooth, keep down the cost of sweet treats by making dessert yourself rather than buying them. The bakery section at the grocery store has the highest markups, Warrock said. You're looking at paying 100% to 300% more for cakes, cupcakes and cookies than if you just made them yourself. Cookies, for example, are easy dyes if you have basic ingredients such as flour, sugar and eggs. You don't have to be a pastry chef to save money baking your own sweets, Warrock said. 10. Side Salads It's easy to pick up pre-made salads and side dishes at the supermarket but it's also expensive. You're going to pay for convenience, usually between 40% to 60% more for prepared foods in the deli section, Warrock said. Side salads like potato salad or macaroni salad or even tuna salad are so easy to make at home. In addition to saving money, you can control what goes in the side salads you make. 11. Simple syrup. If you like hosting cocktail parties, you can cut down on the cost of mixers by making your own simple syrup. Perfect for the bar aficionado, this dye method for simple syrup can save you up to 90% of the price of a store-bought bottle, said Carson Yarrow, shopping and savings expert for deal website offers.com. Simply heat two cups of water and stir in two cups of sugar, which costs about 64 cents, until the sugar dissolves. Then, let the mixture cool. This is a great method for those looking to save money on their monthly entertainment and alcohol budget, and you can store your homemade simple syrup for up to a month in the refrigerator, Yarborough said. 12. Lunch If you work in an office, you should stop mindlessly burning through your paycheck by going out to lunch every day. Most folks know that restaurant meals can often be expensive, but working people can't simply skip lunch, said Timothy Weedman, retired associate professor of management and human resources at Doan University. Still, how many people realize the cost difference between a reasonably priced restaurant meal and a brown bag lunch made at home? For example, Applebee's least expensive lunch combo plus a drink, tax and tip totals about $11.50, he said. So you'd spend $57.50 a week if you ate lunch at this restaurant chain every workday, Weedman said. However, a sandwich made at home with low-fat lunch meat on whole grain bread, a dozen baby carrots, a small individually sized box of raisins for dessert and a can of diet soda can be assembled for about $2.80 per day, he said. 13. Halloween costumes. Rather than shell out $30 or more on a Halloween costume, you can make your own for a fraction of the cost. Use apparel and supplies you have at home, or head over to a consignment store to look for any key pieces and inexpensive accessories that will complete your look like a witch's hat, princess wand or clown wig, Warrock said. You can even make dye Halloween costumes for kids for less than $10 with a little creativity. If you have a glue gun, you likely won't even need to sew these fun easy crafts. 14. Greeting Cards Rather than spend an average of $4 for a store-bought greeting card, Warrock recommended making your own. It's a smart way to save money, plus you can be creative and have fun with it, she said. Think of greeting cards as die art projects. You can print pictures to attach to cards and personalize them. Or, if you have children, have them draw a cute picture to make it extra special, Warrock said. 15. Centerpieces. Rather than spend about $75 on centerpiece from a florist, you can make your own for a fraction of the cost, said Cynthia O'Hara, author of the book Cooking, 
baking, and making, 100 recipes and dye ideas for all season and reasons. To create an autumn centerpiece, cut a hole in the top of a pumpkin and clean out the seeds and pulp. Place a jar in the pumpkin and fill it with fall foliage and wildflowers. 16. Weed Killer Rather than spend money on harsh chemicals to kill pesky weeds in your yard, you can make your own weed killer solution for a fraction of the cost. The Easy Home Project requires mixing equal parts vinegar and water. Then add 4 to 6 ounces of dish soap per gallon of water and vinegar mixture, said Jonathan Steele, executive director of Water Cures, a natural remedies organization. Put the solution in a spray bottle or garden sprayer to target the weeds you want to kill. Steele estimated that you could save $20 creating as much weed killer on your own as you would get with a store-bought product that can cause irritation if it comes into contact with your skin. 17. Compost You don't have to spend a lot buying expensive fertilizers. You can help your garden grow with compost. You can buy compost at lawn and garden stores, such as Dr. Earth 803 Compost 1.5 cubic feet from Walmart for $27.60 or you can make your own compost by combining kitchen and garden scraps, said Jenna Lorraine, a horticulturalist and planting expert at UK-based Fantastic Gardeners. Diverting food scraps to a compost bin can help reduce the amount of trash you'll throw away, which also means you won't go through trash bags as quickly. You can find tips on how to make compost at epa.gov, the website for the Environmental Protection Agency.